Is there an area of your body you wouldn't be confident trying to remove a skin tag from? On the penis. <laughs> That's how we're starting? <laughs> On the penis. That's the That's where we're line. starting. Uh, this oh, wow. interview, uh, you've met Isla Traquera on our program before. Wow. She is the host of a fantastic show. It's called... Where does this go? <laughs> on the penis. <laughs> Biologic, how are you? I like to shock you guys when I come on. Perhaps, so first just, of all, we should explain what your show's about, because that eight-second clip might give people the wrong idea. Yeah, this is a health <laughs> consumer show that's on the Oprah Winfrey <laughs> Network. And tonight, uh, sorry, tomorrow night, we're showing skin tags. And I was asking them if there was anywhere on their body that they would be uncomfortable removing a skin tag from. Because we uh, test out these... Oh, the penis. On the, and I was <laughs> genuinely shocked. We've got these great little um, what, things. Uh, that they, freeze, they freeze them off themselves. What's a skin tag? A skin tag is basically, um, it's like a... I, I, I don't it, have any, I don't think. It's like a little tiny, tiny bit of skin. They often appear in the neck. You can get them in, in the groin, women, boobs. It's basically caused by friction. It looks kind of like a kind of freckler mole, but it sticks like out more. And it's, the same, and it's the same color oh, as your skin. It's, it's caused by friction. Colored. I'm amazed that it'll so, more. <laughs> but you can, you, can remove, you can remove them at home now on your own. You can buy the drugstore Even, kits. So uh, did you, a consumer wait, show, did you test yeah. the kits? We did test the kits, and we had some lovely testers, <laughs> including that gentleman. So could you out. remove one from the region that he was concerned about? I don't know. With the you, home tester? I don't know if you can actually. Get I think there. one should or go to the doctor get... if there's something down you there. Check. You do, I don't think you want to remove anything from your penis, Michael. That's my <laughs> that's my health advice to you. Our doctor did, however, once remove a skin tag from a gentleman's groin that was the size of a golf ball. And I did question, did you count how many there were? There should have been two, <laughs> two left. <laughs> two left. I don't think that was a skin tag. <laughs> that was something else. Okay. okay, now where are we? What are we doing? Well, Let's talk about oh, the yeah, abdominal yeah, yeah. muscles. Oh, yes. Now, this was really just a great excuse for me to feel up a very attractive man's six I would have invited the US in. swim team in. <laughs> Can I check out your abs? What were you actually talking about? We're talking about dehydration, because there's a way that you can check. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, I know. You can look at me, I was a bit flustered there. I was getting dehydrated touching them. So you pinch your abdominal muscles, and if the skin stays up like putty, it means you're, that you're dehydrated. Was that young man dehydrated? That young you? man, I did check several times to be sure. <laughs> And we were asking people what do they think is the best thing to hydrate themselves, and it's not water. But what tune is it? in tomorrow night. Well, okay, I'll give you a clue. I'm going to guess tea. It's, it's no, it's not tea. I'll give you a clue. Um, coconut water. Oh, yes. Coconut. yes. Yes. And since doing the show, I'm addicted to it. Because there's all these things that go around, and this is the interesting part of what you guys do on the mm. show. Uh, you know, things get passed from person to person. These yeah. old wives' tales and yeah. you know, medicinal thing. And hydration for me, I always thought warm a warm cup of a warm cup of tea. Well, that, but it's that not a diuretic. Actual property is actually diuretic. So yeah, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, herbal tea or warm herbal, water. Yeah, yeah. Warm water is supposed to hydrate better than cool water. That's Coconut what I water, saying. though, is full of all those electrolytes and potassium. That's it's like best. having a banana. So. And then okay. make sure you get the yeah. kind that doesn't have a ton of added sugar, because otherwise you're not doing yourself any favors. Exactly. You want the sugar-free. There is a, there is another fluid that looks a bit like coconut water that also features in the show tonight. Shall we talk about <laughs> sperm then? Yes, you might want to see it first. <laughs> Okay, why are we talking about sperm, please, Isla, before we get to the clip? Okay. Not part of this conversation. <laughs> not, not in the slightest. This is a, a fertility segment that we do in the show tomorrow night. And um, we do actually do an at-home sperm test. And, uh, yeah, I think you need to see so what So what are you I testing do. the sperm are you, for? Yeah, well, number to virility? To see if you're, yeah. To see, see if it, you, like, yeah. swims and... Swims and it works, yeah. Is this the clip of the sperm cocktail? Yeah, you need to see this. Okay, let's oh. have a look. Uh, this is a clip of Biologic. You can watch it Tuesday nights on OWN at 6.30. Please tell me you guys weren't being literal. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Thank you managed you to do much. it. Right, you're going to help me with the science experiment okay. now. Okay. I want you to suck up just to the black lines and then I want you to put it into that little bottle and then I'm going to give it a wee shake. Yep. Just like making a cocktail, but with sperm. Yes, it's a bit of a different cocktail. The World Health Organization standard for a fertile man is 20 million sperm per milliliter. So, and there it is. we've got two lines. According to this test, two lines mean Cyrus has the desired 20 million sperm per milliliter. Isn't this cool? Did you know you could do this at home? I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a lot that of questions, Isla. That was his actual sperm. 
<laughs> and you said totally congratulations when like, he came back yeah, with a well, cup. Yeah, well, I just need, you know, I handed him the cup before and said, off you go, you know. But, you know, on to the serious <laughs> note, um, yeah. one can test to see if they've got yeah. swimmers at home yeah. now. And we tested his results against the, the medical ones, and apparently he's got the Mal Michael Phelps of sperm. Really? He's <laughs> yes. got good, healthy, he's strong got good sperm. Healthy sperm. And because <laughs> that's the first, well, you know, once again, we'll keep it serious. The sperm cocktail is very derailing, but yeah. especially uh, since you spilled people... some on the side. Oh, you did spill a little bit on the side. <laughs> Touch my finger. Every sperm is sacred. <laughs> Every sperm. sperm is okay. Good. Uh, <laughs> I love but you. But that too. is that is the first thing that they look for on the checklist. If people are having difficulty yeah. uh, conceiving a child, yeah. that's usually the first thing that you want to check and it for, can be right? Expensive. You do. You do. You spend most of your life trying not to get pregnant, or certainly women do. You don't need to worry about that. You spend your life trying not to get women pregnant. <laughs> and then suddenly when you want to have a baby, it's actually quite difficult. You know, there's really only one day that a woman can get pregnant. And really? it's when you're when you're ovulating. And to test that, you need to find out if you're, you've got a peak of the lute luteinizing have hormone. have sex all, all the time. time. That's the man's <laughs> Which perspective. Is, is that what Which you is, if you're wife? looking for advice for me... Just have sex first. every day. So what have we got here? We've got okay. some, are these pregnancy tests? Yeah, no, these aren't pregnancy tests. These are actually fertility tests. Oh. So like the, the pregnancy tests, you, you whittle on them. So the uh, clear blue one that was And digital, for people that don't speak whittle. English English or Scottish urinate. English, you urinate on it. So <laughs> whittle. This, this is a, so this is a bit more advanced. So this one you, you you whittle on it and then you actually pop it into this digital thing and it, it reads it. Okay. That's quite clever. Um, this one, you actually... So does that actually give you the window? Like, hey, will, you're ovulating, go, go, go? It, yes, but often when you actually get the reading of the luteinizing, luteinizing hormone, it's almost too late. You need to have been doing it a few days before. Okay. So you're right. You do need to have as much sex as possible around about the ovulation window. This one's interesting. You're supposed to spit on this little um, bit of glass first thing in the morning, and then you let it dry in, and then you pop it in this little thing here, and there's actually a torch... I don't know if you guys can see that. So you can put a slideshow on There's your fertility? And then you look in it, and if you can see a fern-like pattern of your saliva, apparently Isn't that that's when you're fertile. That's just like a little, your own little science experiment. Yeah, it is like a science experiment, and, and I then, did all these things. This is the, I want you to look at that one. But I don't know what I'm so doing. So this is another digital no, one. Don't grab that part. This one, yeah, I haven't used it. It's all right. <laughs> you can I use have. both ends. This one's for your mouth. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And this is testing for electrolytes. Can you guess where that one goes? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> so, do, wait, do you yeah. put them in at the same time? No, one in the no. mouth and one in the. <laughs> don't get them muddled up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't need the same time. <laughs> this is like the best movie ever. Mike's so running around one... the house with one in each hand. <laughs> So that one goes in a woman's bits. That that goes yes uh, inside it's the lady. Hot for it goes the male. inside the lady. In the lady bits. And this is doing electrolyte testing. So um, we got our lovely couple who are trying for a baby. They tested all these things out, and then we tested them against the doctor's yeah. um, test. So and, which yeah. one works uh, most, or which one is the most accurate? Well, you should really tune in tomorrow. Tune to in tomorrow. Okay, you oh, said you had geez. a present but for one, us. But one of them is... A, Much better. Yeah, the others don't work. Okay, I have... Seeing as I probably won't be on here for a wee while, I brought you both a present, and this is for the future. It's Why not am for I now. Of your if presence? it's a cocktail, I'm no, out of here. No, it's not. It's not. Well, there is a liquid. <laughs> this is a special spray for your hair in case you start losing it. Okay. Oh, oh thank you. And this is for <laughs> what incontinence. It's little cups that you pop in there. So, <laughs> what are those for? <laughs> she just gave me incontinence cups. <laughs> stress cups designed <laughs> by women for women. Well, where do they go? <laughs> The Have a guess. In, in the same really? place as the wand. You're kidding. And that's to help well, no, your stress. Kind of down, They're reusable. I don't you have to put this down there. there. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> for the rest of your information, you're just going to have to tune in to Biologic, the best show ever, airs Tuesday, 6.30 on wow. OWN. We are going to take a break.